Hi guys, it is a hot, sticky summer day here in mid-April, April, literally mid-April, April, Saturday morning, April 15th, 2017, here in the end times in the former paradise of South Austin, Texas, and I need to dive into my clueless moron roundup rant and then get to an interview with Extinction Radio. Before I do, I'm going to dive into my mailbag here at Humpty Dumpty Tribe to share with you a, a comment of the day. And I don't believe it. We have a comment coming in from a Somalian. A Somalian visitor to Humpty Dumpty Tribe has stumbled on... Uh, on the ham bone ranting about sub-Saharan Africa and the situation there. So we're going to hear from sub-Saharan Africa. Now, it's unclear whether this man still lives in, sub in Somalia or not. My guess is that he does not. Uh, I guess I should have... Uh, okay. <clears throat> I'm going to read his comment and then uh, read my various responses. This is a fellow going by the name of ABH. Take it away, ABH. Quote, hey dude, I am from Somalia, and I would like to say Africa is three times the size of the United States, and it has almost the same amount of people living there. What do you think of that? And Asia has about four billion people Africa only has one, well, one, one billion. There you go. Okay, so I had several. Uh, my, my first comment to, to uh, ABH uh, was, <clears throat> I think this comment is further proof that every other African you share the planet with is headed for oblivion when you chart the decline of the wildlife population of your continent against the rise of your population over the last 50 years. Considering the perilous ecological state of Africa today with only, only one billion people, I think it does not take Desmond Tutu to reach the brilliant conclusion that every species of African, including your species, is so fucked. But thank you for adding more evidence to my argument. Just curious, do you still live in Somalia, or did you have the good foresight to get the hell out of Dodge. I have not gotten a response back. My guess is he's living uh, either in Europe or the US. Of course, <clears throat> I forgot to mention, since you are apparently unaware of this, that there are more than three times as many people living in Africa already today as there are in the United States. And projections are that Africa will have 10 times the population of the U.S. by the end of the century. Of course, I also realize that the U.S. is by far the single most overpopulated country on this planet. I would have to check my geography stats, but I would also guess that subtracting the Sahara Desert from the equation that the rest of Africa combined is about the same size as the U.S. And uh, so I have to admit I, I was a little bit wrong, so I went and checked my stats. And this is what I found checking my stats. Okay, checking the stats. Africa minus the Sahara Desert presently has approximately 1 billion people living on 8 million square miles of land. 
with a population heading toward 4 billion by the end of the century, the United States has approximately 320 million people living on 3.6 million square miles of land and our population is heading towards 400 million by the end of uh, this century for any clueless fucking moron uh, having some absolute ludicrous misconception that the population of the United States is declining. There will be 80 million more people in, in the United States. 80 more Austin, Texases in the United States by the year 2100 if Mother Nature doesn't uh, do something about this. But of course, that will be one tenth the population of sub-Saharan Africa, of Africa minus the Sahara Desert. Oh, I, I, did I say about Alaska, the, the 3.6 million square miles, I took out Alaska in the United States. That does not include Alaska because they took out the Sahara Desert out of, you know, I had to, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, thank you for adding that argument. Uh, but I'm going to have to do some more stats to looking at the, the actual rate of wildlife decline in Africa versus population increase. Uh, but uh, I, I think it'll be pretty staggering. But anyway, we know where both of those rates are going over the next 20th uh, uh, over the rest of the 21st century as uh, the, the every species of African other than humans continues its meteoric decline to zero while the one species of African climbs and climbs and climbs. Uh, meanwhile, sending every species of other African into oblivion till it hits four billion or wherever it really is going to hit before the four horsemen of the apocalypse are allowed to reign freely. And, uh, but anyway, I'm going to wrap up this comment of the day and come back at you with my clueless moron roundup rant for the week coming up in one minute. Bye guys.